Where are we now? We're very close to St Bees, just a few hundred yards away. I was born here, in the front room of my grandparents' home. My parents married in 1946 at the end of the war uh, and lived in the attic here for uh, two years, three years I think it was. No, it's so 1951 and then we moved to the Withinshore estate. So this is where I grew up and I came back here when I was nine to live here. The holly bush I remember well. There was a rose over the front door, Madame Caroline Testou, the toothpaste rose. And the gardens were lovely. In fact, somewhere in that front garden is my grandmother's engagement ring. My learned disabled uncle Geoffrey threw it out of the window once and it was never found. So somewhere in there is a diamond ring. Uh, the side path there I remember well, I kept my chickens at the far end. My love of chickens comes from here. My grandparents kept chickens because of uh, egg rationing during the war and things like that. I was inspired by chickens, chickens at a very early age and I kept them for 50 years myself. And I kept them here from the age of 10 until about three or four years ago was it there, when they stopped. So Manly Road, big fine Victorian villa. It, Belonged to Mr. Bramwell and the house next door. He was the headmaster of Princess Road School where my grandfather went to school, the Moss Side, just around the corner. And they bought it in the 30s, about 1934. And uh, I lived here, got happy memories, lovely house, but my own home is in some ways inspired by this. It hasn't got a doorbell and it has got cellars here, but the feel of a big Victorian house and the big rooms and the spaciousness and the kitchen and the scullery and the larder and all those things. That's what I remember. It was also very cold and I remember I had a room in the attic which was much better. I had more privacy away from my sisters and I could indulge in things that boys do up there more freely and more happily.